film, you can go up here. And you can go here. Come on. Well, I am going to need you soon, but I'll go through another room before I get the chance. Alright, I think that'll do it. And right over here is another room for the club key. Leon found the magnum in here. I think Claire gets more grenade rounds. Nothing in the locker. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Alright, well, we read the Watchman's Diary last time, and this was a pretty good one. This was kind of like the four itchy tasty memo from the first game. Good. There's something very nice about that message. This key is useless. Discard it. But you may remember this room. We were in here with Leon, and we had to light this furnace. And then we had to press these uh, reliefs in the right order. I think it was 12, 11, 13? Nope, other way around. I think it's supposed to be uh, Queen, King, Jack. Now, something different happens with Claire than what happened with Leon. It's our buddy. It's Agent X. So, the first time I played this, and I do mean the very first time, I just... I grabbed the gear and I ran. But in this case, we're going to try to take him out. I think we got enough firepower. Ow. Though he does hit hard. Alright, we used about 10% of our machine gun. Oh, and down he goes. And what do we get for taking him out? More handgun bullets. Hey, we'll take it, right?
So yeah, that wasn't too bad. Now that we have the gear, we can just go back up to the um, the clock tower like we did in Leon's playthrough. And then that's... Oh, boy! So, yeah. That happened. Agent X is not done with us. Now, I told you, the uh, very first time I played through this, I just... You know, I grabbed the cog and ran. When he burst through the wall like that, I thought for sure... It was because I left him alive. That's too far away. Come on, four, four. There we go. Whew. But now we get some bow gun bolts. Although we used nearly forty percent of our our machine gun here. So we're going to use these green herbs and get ourselves back to fighting form. Um, I don't think I'll use this one, but I will carry it around. Claire, always getting stuck on the edge of those stairs. what we don't need. We don't need acid rounds, we don't need bow gun. Uh, don't need the lighter for at least a little bit. Am I going to get a chance to get that again? I think so. Oh, we got film. I should go get that developed. something. That sounds like the click clack click clack of a liquor. Alright, I might be able to run past him. I don't think that's the only one. Alright, could have sworn there was another one up here. But if there's just one, I'll be very happy with that. Square peg goes into a square hole. And we add our cog to the machinery here.
And that dust chute opens up. Leon found one of his plugs in here. We find the other half of the blue stone. Now, Leon was able to jump down. We do not have that option. Now, I don't think there's anything that way we'd want to even go get at this point. But hey, if at least if we had the option, it would have been nice. So now we'll just go back to the chief's office, and that'll be that. And there's Big Green again. So we're just going to open fire on him until he either drops or we run out of ammo. And we've used up about 56% of our machine gun. But we get grenade rounds, so that was worth it. So I did say we should go back to the chief's office, but we're actually going to go back to the dark room. I kill you. Now you are dead, right? Puddle of blood means dead. Go away. Go away. Nobody wants to bother with you. Well, I should probably get the film first before I try to develop it. Where's my grenade gun? There you are. We're gonna put you back. Then we'll put you up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of unnecessarily meticulous with my inventory space. I kind of like to keep the healing items down here towards the bottom, puzzle items up here towards the top, weaponry in the middle. Hmm. I think that's fine. We'll have a chance to go to another item box. Film C. Development code T103. Due to accelerated metabolism relative to the earlier 100, uh, 00 series, the subject possesses exemplary, <coughs> exemplary regenerative capabilities. PHX0165 file data. Now, taking a look at our files here. Yeah, film D, film B, film C. Where is film A? No, we're not going to take the ink ribbon. But you know what I think I will do? 
we'll switch back into our original costume. Well, I am being informed that there's film in Chris's office. Oh, do you mean the picture of Rebecca? Because we got that already. That was film D. Now there is a reason I switched back to Claire's original costume, which I hope will become apparent a little later in the game. That liquor is still out here. Now, should I kill it? Or should I just try to get past it? Because honestly, once we get through here, we're not going to have to deal with this guy ever again. Run! save again soon. And there's Sherry. Where? Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Anything to say? Nope. All right. Now we use the Jaguar Stone. Secret passage. We find the mail to the chief. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we read this when we found Ben and the chest burster came through him. Alright, an elevator. It appears to go down. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? This looks like a dungeon. Oh, it's even got torches. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Oh, that everyone's gonna die? I remember that from the commercials for the game. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. 
then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. The monster that's been tearing my crazy apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio -weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. What if I have to go? I'm going to take you with me. Oh, there's that familiar what? roar again. Oh. Ugh, nasty. So yeah, that's the end of Police Chief Brian Irons. Honestly, I think it's a very fitting end for him. Now he... We do meet him if we play Claire Scenario A. And he has a similar but different fate in store for him during that playthrough. Which we'll probably take a look at in another, another video. But I think that this uh, end for him is much more satisfying and fitting than the end he gets in in uh, Scenario A for Claire. So normally what I would have done is I would have just gone down that trap door to see whatever it was that just killed the chief. But I'm gonna turn around real quick and just save. I wanted to save after that cutscene because in case anything does happen, we won't have to go through it again and again and again. Let's drop the acid rounds, and I'm also going to drop the handgun bullets and the colt. We're going to just work with the bow gun and the grenade gun. Iron's body, well, his torso is still there. So what's waiting for us down here? Well, 
that's what's left of William Birkin. And he's got a pipe. You may remember when we were playing as Leon, we came across uh, William. He had a pipe. He threw it at us and then transformed into something even worse. Come here, you. Ow. Okay, that's enough grenades. You're not doing too well, are you, buddy? And down he goes. So we handled that all right. And now there's a ladder. Honestly, I didn't even know we could go up the ladder at this point. I thought for sure we had to go back and get Sherry. Well, let's go back and get Sherry before I end up screwing something up. There she is. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. So, from this point on, Sherry's going to tag along with us. Now, there is something annoying about Sherry. Uh, she's got these little kid legs, so she can't run as fast as us. It's possible to get her left behind. And if she ends up too far behind Claire, she'll just sit there waiting for Claire. Which means you won't be able to leave the area. Hopefully, it won't be too much of a problem, but it does happen from time to time. Now, just don't look over the edge. Your father's splattered body is down there. There's the other big guy. 